Let me first begin by thanking you for watching this video. This is going to be the behind the scenes footage of Ruben Akihua's recent music video. I first must say that I am in no shape, manner, form, whatever you say, the expert on all music videos. What I'm sharing with you today is just how we did it, how I like to direct it, and the reasons why. Second thing I'd like to state is a big thank you to Ruben for allowing us to film this, as well as all the staff at the ranch, including Monica Brandt, who was instrumental with the uh, being the horse wrangler, trainer, and safety manager on site. So let's get on with the video, shall we? So generally, the first thing that I like to do is create a shot list and script. What this entails is creating a vision. I listen to my clients and try to understand where they're coming from with what project they want me to deliver. So that's what my focus was when directing this particular music video. We begin by meeting with Ruben, going through the scenes and going through the shot list to make sure that this is something that he approves of. And as I mentioned to many people, photography and videography is telling a story, telling a story of what the artist wants to deliver. So in this case, we're telling a story of love, true love, but the story of how they achieve that love. And part of that is following direction. And let me tell you, the horses at this particular ranch are well, well trained. Look up, up, not the horse. The horse is looking up. You <laughs> Look at the horse. Oh my gosh. Action. Oops, oops. Sorry. However, it's still difficult to work with animals and humans for that matter. But what I believe in is leading by example. So what I generally like to do whenever I direct something is to just get in there and just kind of express the facial expressions, the tone, the gestures, pitch, all these kinds of things that will deliver a certain message to the viewer when they watch the video. And I gotta tell you guys, these actors that were part of the ranch scene uh, where Ruben first looks at his uh, love were amazing. These guys are not trained actors, but they hit their mark and did a great job. So thank you. Action! No, do it again. Do it again. And action! And as I mentioned, I generally like to go through the scenes with the actors to show exactly what kind of emotion we're trying to deliver to the viewer. Like in this case, I acted like the girl, which is okay. I'm comfortable with that. And let me tell you, even sometimes the director messes up, yes. Rule of thumb, whenever you're shooting, make sure that everyone, including the director, is out of the scene. B-roll is also essential. You don't necessarily want to shoot the actors and what they're doing all the time, but get some close-ups of things that may also spark that sense of love that you're trying to capture uh, in this particular video. So I chose to have two hands kind of separating, however, maybe them lingering a little bit with the hand release to show that there's interest and possibly love. One of the biggest problems I see in music videos and any video ad or anything on video for that matter is the authenticity of it. How many times, I mean, have we gone to see a movie and we said, Oh, that's not possible. Oh, she used the wrong syringe. Oh, they didn't even hook up to the EKG. How can they do that? Authenticity is very important. For this matter, we were gracious enough to have Monica Brandt to help us on set to truly uh, express what a wrangler might encounter when training this particular girl, which is the story behind this uh, love story. So Monica was able to help train Ruben in many aspects, as well as Jacqueline. And uh, when they do that, it brings a sense of authenticity to the video. So that's another suggestion I have for you. 
Now, as you may or may not know, I enjoy doing, um, um, yes, I'm drinking Grace's juice boxes, uh, Capri Sun. Don't tell her. What I like to do is special effects because it adds a little bit of flavor of, hey, that was kind of cool how they did that. So in this case, I decided to go along with the clone technique, which allows Ruben to almost look back into time and remember a time when he was training Jacqueline. Um, and that's what we were trying to deliver with this particular segment of the music video. To do it, I layered three videos on top of one another and masked out what areas of the video I didn't want to be shown and uh, feathering the edges so that you can't see the separation in the video. But the most important aspect of this when doing this is to maintain your tripod and camera so it does not move at all. I guess one of the cool things about music videos too is the fact that Although Ruben is an outstanding singer, if you haven't noticed, we played a speaker with his song in the background uh, so he was able to lip sync because that's just what music videos are. However, in this case, it's nice to have that because we can still direct our actors and what we want them to do during the actual live shoot. Jackie, move your feet closer. There you go. Closer, closer. closer. There you right go. There, right there. Much better. Keep that arm away, Ruben. Left arm out of the way. There you go, excellent, there you go. That looks a lot better. One of the things that Monica did was ride this particular horse a little bit before we shot uh, the horse scenes. And also uh, she was able to help Ruben and Jacqueline to get comfortable with the animal, but more importantly, the animal get comfortable with them. So anytime you shoot music videos with animals, try to get your clients and the animals to get accustomed to one another so that there's a little bit more of trust and rapport. Can't stress that enough. And then just keep walking and turn your body to the left and bring them around. Turn to the left. Stand up. Yeah, you stand up. <laughs> Good boss. Don't let him run you over. Good boss. Okay. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> And as a director, you've got to learn to be very patient. Even the most experienced actors may look into the camera, may drop something, may say something wrong, may create a gesture that was wrong. Just remember that if you're frustrated, they're going to be frustrated. And your shoot day will end up being a six-hour shoot into two days, and that gets costly. So just remember to be patient as a director, humble, and appreciative. And what I really liked about this whole video, it was the segue scene because not too many people while looking at the video would realize how did they do that? Because drone can't do that shot. A man on a gimbal running can't do that shot. And of course, a man with a camera without a gimbal or a drone can't do that shot. So how was it that we were able to pull this off? Well, one of our producers, Johnny Wynn, uh, has a segue on steroids. This thing is a beast. It can go through dirt, rocks, and everything. So we were fortunate enough to use this for this particular shot to give it a nice circular uh, maneuver while filming both actors and their horse. We, of course, had the scene inside the corral. I don't even know if that's the right terminology. Excuse me if it isn't. And it was pretty rough in there, but Johnny said, oh, let me try to film it in there with the segue. And, of course, he pulled it off. So as I mentioned in this music video, I wanted to show how Ruben in the beginning kind of looked up into the sky, remembering all the times when he met his love of his life from the first time they met to other moments in his life where he remembered. The last scene is when he looks from up to down, bringing him back to reality and realizing that his uh, true love just entered the doors again but this time there's no longer that sense of nervousness. Now they're truly in love. You're looking up, come back to reality. Now you see Jacqueline, there's your wife, there, there she is. Okay, let's go to her. Move the strap, move the strap, there you go. Keep out of frame, move, excellent. And don't forget as a director, there's always gonna be prop issues. Fortunately for us, we had very minimal. And in fact, we hardly had any, except for when Ruben basically almost knocked her in her head with the cowboy hat. However, she uh, was, was okay with it and fun with it. But just on a real note, just try to be safe out there because especially when using props that are dangerous, 
you don't want to ever cause any kind of safety issues with your actors. Well, that's all, guys. It was just really quick and simple. Here's some tidbits for you when creating a music video for yourselves. And remember, one of the things that I always tell people is music videos and photography and anything that deals with artistry is all subjective. So there's going to be criticism from everybody and anybody. And generally, if they're negative, that means that they're pretty jealous of you. So that means you're doing something right. This is Marcelo again from Wolverine Productions. A big thanks to Don Hubley, Johnny Wynn, and Steven who helped me produce this and a uh, particular music video. We'll continue to have more in the future. But again, from all of us, thank you very much. And finally, thank you again to all those that helped us at the ranch and Monica. You guys are amazing. Thanks again. God bless you.